hello guys welcome back to my channel today I will discuss about Voltaire and the Maestre I recently read some things um, on Voltaire's trip in England and on the famous conservative Joseph de Maistre letters on the Spanish Inquisition so let's start with um, Voltaire so Voltaire was a French guy very very smart who read and r r wrote several books he belongs to 18th century um, he was basically say persona non grata in France so he spent almost all his life um, in a semi-permanent um, exile and um, the first time he spent it abroad, he spent it in England. And around three years, he spent it in London and he wrote a book about his experience. So the first thing when you read his book, which is called On England, is the fact that uh, Voltaire is impressed by the English um, and the most striking aspect uh, revolves around uh, religion so he writes about the Quakers, he writes about the Protestants, he writes about the Church of England and his conclusions and what I remember from this book is that he finds it way more palatable than the Catholic Church of France of his time. And when I say palatable, I mean better in almost every aspect. So when it comes to um, the church's um, requirements and control of its uh, substituent population so he finds the catholic church very repressive while the liberal protestant churches of england he finds them more attractive so that's the first thing uh, you find out when you read Voltaire's book another thing um, is literature I don't recall too many things about this part so I'll skip it um, what I recall is that in, in the end of the book Voltaire uh, wants to um, 
reply or counter Blaise Pascal's pensées, so thoughts. Yeah, he, Pascal wrote a famous book called Pensées or Thoughts, and uh, and what Voltaire does in the end of the book on England is to argue and criticize uh, some of uh, Pascal's points and uh, you can find pretty good um, life philosophy and advice um, in, in, in this part of Walter's book and now about the Maestro's uh, letters on Spanish Inquisition well, so we all know the Maestro was conservative, um, so reac reactionary, he's uh, definitely uh, a church guy, so pro anything that the Catholic Church did. Uh, so you won't find surprises here. Um, so this book is is um, is trying to to defend somehow the Spanish Inquisition as if it was something um, not that bad as history. Or, or or the enemies of the of the Catholic Church and of the religion in general uh, want uh, to present it. But this is obviously a hard thing to do. We all know what the Inquisition did. Uh, basically, anyone who didn't agree with uh, Catholic the Spanish. Uh, Church and, and the, the, the Catholic Church in general's um, dogma uh, was uh, sentenced to various types of punishment, including uh, burned on 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 the on the um, as a witch, let's say. Yeah, so as a heretic, bur burned. Basically, uh, they they lighted you up uh, while you were tied on a piece of of tree on a on a piece of wood. Yeah, so they they burned you alive, basically, if you didn't agree with what the Catholic Church was was uh, uh, declaring as universal and inattackable truth so so the maestro tries to um, <laughs> defend the catholic church and um, and put it on the spanish state so basically the first chapters uh, of this the maestro's uh, book on the spanish inquisition uh, tries to argue that it was not the church's fault but it was actually more of a Spanish um, empire or state's fault because the the, the tribunals the, the courts that were briefly judging this uh, her heresy cases were mostly uh, civil and not ecclesiastical but he is wrong um, this was obviously some kind of uh, manipulation of truth uh, even he writes a bit later that these courts were 
run by a church guy. So even if <laughs> the the let's say the juries or, or the people who decided were a, a group of people combining mostly civil people but also church people the decision was taken by the church guy who was running this court so so his argument doesn't stand it's a uh, bs purely bs so he tries to make all these murders acceptable which is a crazy thing to do um, however he doesn't go so much into um, irrationality or or so the book the book is 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 quite rational I understand his point he tries to make a point that uh, the crimes were not so much on the Catholic Church but mostly the Spanish state which is not true it was a combination of these two but ran, ran by the church so that's very clear who did these crimes and um, yeah, the second thing he did was he tries to portray these crimes as, as less inhuman than they were but uh, he lists uh, the types of torture they did to the people so so you you need to understand this book mm, as it written most probably end of 18th century so those are different times um, human rights didn't exist um, the, the Spanish Inquisition happened in the 14th century so even much much earlier than when the Maestri did this letter wrote these letters so even less uh, civilization and, and human rights in those times so so the main point I want to make is that uh, yeah the Maestro tries to defend the Spanish Inquisition the Catholic Church me as an atheist I find um, his position uh, wrong and um, there is nothing to defend those horrible crimes so he is just um, an apologist and a defender of a criminal system which makes him very immoral a very uh, um, I don't want to use the word bad um, so I'm trying to find another word so he's a very uh, unscrupulous um, hypocrite um, and uh, and uh, inflexible person who tried to defend the church but uh, he failed so that's all about the Maestro's letter on the Spanish, Spanish Inquisition and about Voltaire's uh, uh, trip in England and what he found there. Um, if you like this story about this, um, these two big personalities in the Western history, <clears throat> even if one uh, is not in my area of understanding and um, uh, likability let's say uh, still De Maestre is uh, um, a fine writer even if I don't uh, like his uh, political stance um, so if you like this like comment subscribe to the channel uh, that I'll, will make me so happy thank you very much have a nice day